So I'm doing my engine checks here because tomorrow at first light, we are planning to head out. Um, and we have not had a chance to, to do, you know, a, a zero maintenance schedule on these engines. So, you know, I'm not going to get to go through all of the different, uh, like oil change and filter and fuel filter and all of that stuff before we go. But the previous owner did say that all of that was done. When we asked him if he did any maintenance on the engines, he said, no, they've had very little use and they weren't due yet. So I don't really know what that means as far as the timeline, but they seem to start up well and they seem to run well, they idle well. Everything seems okay. Got fluid levels good. Um, anyway, this is also a good time to mention that we are not doing this alone. Um, we've had a, we've had a few comments on uh, the different social media platforms. Um, I'm going to nicely say concerned for our safety. Um, some of them were not so nice, but we kind of expected that because there's an awful lot of uh, people out there that that are passionate about this. So um, what we have done is we have hired a delivery captain to go with us. This is going to be an instructional delivery and uh, he's going to be with us 24 hours a day for the entire time of our trip. And we're hoping to get this trip from Annapolis all the way down to Carolina Beach done in about five to six days. The weather, as you have seen, has been a big problem. So uh, we're hoping that the wind's going to lay down right at the moment. It's really not that bad, but we keep having it swirls up and gets kicked up again. Um, but we're hoping that by tomorrow we'll be able to go. So anyway, trying to do my diligence, make use of my time, get everything checked out, um, make sure the engines look as good as possible before we go. And then um, we're trusting the previous owner that the, uh, the engines are in good shape. Tomorrow's the big day. We were an average family, struggling with debt and yearning for freedom and adventure. Now we live full time in our RV and we share our adventures with the world. We've got a big dream of purchasing a liveaboard sailboat and expanding our adventures to the water. Welcome to our channel, Salty Escape. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. Fully provisioned and final checks completed, we were left to entertain ourselves what? with hopes of departure tomorrow. Two o'clock! <laughs> okay, are we finding it? Outside. We need to unraise the thing. Here we go. Get on the starboard. Fire! Good job. Keep on firing. Shoot a fireball. You gotta, you gotta turn it oh, on. Oh yeah, emergency brake. Now shoot it. Emergency brake off. Oh, come on, speed. Yeah. The weather didn't show any signs of letting up, but we tried to make the best of it with some hot chocolate. Unfortunately, through the night, the weather persisted, and in the morning. We still had concerns. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, November 3rd. Um, it's supposed to be a big day for the nation. That's also supposed to be a big day for us. But I don't think it's gonna be. Yeah, there, we've been, we were supposed to depart uh, Sunday, right? And the weather predictions were terrible because there was a gale coming in and I, I've showed you all of this and there is. They issued a small craft advisory on Sunday, which they were not supposed to do. Sunday was supposed to be okay to go, and then we were going to hunker down for Monday and then continue on today. Well, Sunday we woke up to a small craft advisory with wave height and gusty winds. And so Monday. we were looking forward to today. Today's the day. Let's go. Um, you can see the sun is coming up. Um, Captain Dane is supposed to be here any minute, and we have. Yet again, another small craft advisory. Inexperienced mariners should not navigate with wind gusts up to 40. 30 something, 35, I think. Mid 30s, wind gusts up to mid, mid 30s, and sea state and constant winds at 20. And not to mention, it's like 35 degrees or something. It's not that cold. Oh, it feels it's that like cold. 30 something. Although it's warmer here than it is at home. That's the funny thing. Isn't that weird? Myrtle Beach is basically freezing right now. Yeah, it's crazy, but they're gonna warm up or not, so. 
Okay, um, so Captain Dane will be here in a few minutes and we'll see if we're going to go or stay. Just a couple of minutes after filming this, Captain Dane arrived, and we told him about the small craft warning. Of course, he already knew this. He said, yours is not a small craft, and he felt confident. And so, we were off. The first few hours involved quite a lot of hands-on teaching and training. Not much time for filming. But we picked up the camera as soon as we could. So this cat came equipped with a carbon fiber, carbon fiber main, not main, carbon fiber jib. And it did have a carbon fiber main, but apparently squirrels got into it and chewed it up. So it's brand new main, but it is Dacron. That's okay, we ought to get at least a decade out of that. There's also a code zero, uh, which looks fantastic. And it is in this compartment right here. And we've got a spinnaker, which in the pictures looks beautiful, but I've not seen it yet, it's stowed. So maybe we'll get to see that here soon, but I don't know that we'll be that ambitious on this trip. Okay, so we have left the marina of Port Annapolis. We have started our trip down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This adventure is four years in the making and it is just beginning. Next time we get to go through a lock, we nearly strike a bridge, and soon we jump out into the Atlantic Ocean for our first experience offshore. Make sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell and we'll be back next week.